Today I'll be showing you how you can communicate using a text-to-speech program on a mobile device. Text-to-speech is basically what it sounds like. You are typing text out on a program or application, and when you're ready to speak, you might press a button and it gets played aloud. Let's see a text-to-speech program in action. As an alternative communication method. All right, let's get started. So today I want to demo with you an app called Speech Assistant AAC, which is available on both Apple mobile devices as well as Android based. Hey, it's great to finally meet you. How are you doing today? Good morning. I am fine. Thank you. Before we get started, may I use your bathroom, please? The toilet. The garden. The toilet is in the garden. Oh, okay. You will see that on the top left, there is a text box, this white box here, and if you click it, it opens up the whatever on-screen keyboard that you're using. So I'm using the, the G board. And as you see, while I'm typing on the on-screen keyboard, that the text is coming up on the text box. And I have this programmed that when I hit go, Hello, how are you? It says whatever I wrote out loud and then it clears it. So then I can continue the conversation. Continue the conversation. A little bit easier. Okay, so let me minimize that. Next location is this section here, this larger section and this is kind of neat and you'll see this in other text -to speech programs as well. These are uh, quick access phrases, quick fire, so things that you might say often throughout the day. This is where you'd find this. So I need help. So if you were to press it, it just says it automatically and then you can clear it out. And then to organize it and find all your phrases a little bit easier, then you have this bottom right section and these are this is called categories. So if you see, I'm in the medical category, so that's when you're going to see the pain, um, change positioning, any medical topics. And you can edit all of this too. I'll get into that in the next section. Um, but you see home, it has home related phrases. And then there's also a history of things that you've said as well. So if you want to go back to an undo, maybe somebody in front of you didn't hear what you said, you can actually undo the phrase so it comes back and then you can replay it. I need help. So this top right corner is really handy. And you can also clear the phrases. This turns into an X as well. If you press that, that's a keyboard picture. It pulls up the on-screen keyboard again. What is your name? If you press this box here, it actually enlarges the text and then you can press the A and it'll flip over the A and it'll also flip over that text. So if somebody is in front of you or you want to hold up what you're saying, then it's easier for other people to read. And then you have an attention sound. To grab their attention of course and you can also speak what is your name and it'll say it out loud again okay you can go back okay so I'm gonna end this here and next I'm going to show you some ways to do modifications or customizations of the program I hope that with this demo, you understand a little bit more about what text-to-speech is and how to use it. If you want to learn more about this app, then keep watching the video. I have more tutorial for you.
And if you're living with ALS and you have questions in our chapter area, please reach out to your care service coordinator. All right, so hit like if you enjoyed the video, subscribe if you want to learn more about assistive technology, and have a good day. Now I'm going to teach you how to modify the buttons on this device and the buttons meaning these quick access phrases and categories. So if you want to change one of these, say we want to change my email is and populate it. If you can see, I did a long press over the button and then it gives you a pop up where that phrase is written in a text box, just like the one on the home page. And you would press into that text box and it opens up the on-screen keyboard again. And you can actually just jump right in and start editing. Then minimize the on-screen keyboard. And then you have options here where you can choose what category, these are actually the categories that you see on the homepage on the bottom right, you want it in. So I'm going to, what are we in? Common, I'm gonna change it to phrase category. And then uh, this is the positions, so you can change the location of the phrase in the phrase box. So I'm gonna put it position four. And then you have cancel, delete, save. And I enable this in the settings, but you can actually record that phrase as well. Maybe learning the program, then you can record and preserve your voice by using this recorder. So I'm going to just go ahead and click recorder. My email is Jackie at alsa-ec.org. My email is Jackie at alsa-ec.org. It saves it as an M4A and that can be saved in your iCloud. Okay, then cancel, delete, save. I'm gonna save that. So now we moved it to a different category. So now we moved it to the phrase category. Oh, let's go back into that the phrase category. And I moved it in the fourth position. I press it, hit speak. My email is Jackie at alsa-ec.org. There you go. And so it's the same thing with the categories as well. If you want to change words to something else, you do that long press again. And this one, you can change the position of where the category is located. Category button is located on the right side. So maybe I'll move that to position two, hit save. And now we have Word in the second position. Okay, so the final thing I want to show you is at the top right, you have this gear picture here. And this is not, a, this isn't really, this doesn't have to be a user level option. There's, there's lots of, of settings that you can change on this program. So if you don't feel very comfortable getting into these more advanced options, but you're having problems using some of these buttons, these options can help make this program more accessible to you. Then you feel free to um, work with your speech therapist, a helper, an assistant, um, somebody that's just comfortable with technology that can learn the program and work with you on making it right for you. Okay, so I'll hit done.
to review, we went into the Speech Assistant AAC program. We learned how to write out a phrase, either using the on-screen keyboard, the quick access phrases, or a combination of both, have it speak out loud. We went over the attention sound, how to modify buttons, and how to get in some get into the more advanced settings.